5 Reasons Why Even China Doesn't Want the Yuan to Replace the Dollar De-dollarization is a hot topic, but yuanization may not be the solution. Here is why, from China's perspective. 1. China cannot afford to run a persistent deficit. Producing the reserve currency is not cheap. In 2022, the American current account deficit hit $251.1 billion. That's 4% of its entire GDP. Why, you ask? Because everybody around the world is crazy about the dollar, but Americans aren't as crazy about imports. To uphold its position, the US will have to grapple with even larger deficits. It exposes the country to shifts in global capital flows. As economic analyst John Kemp explains it, as the global economy expanded, demand for reserve assets increased. These could only be supplied to foreigners by America running a current account deficit. China is the world's second largest economy, but it simply can't sustain a persistent deficit like the US. Beijing faces both political and economic constraints. 2. China has no intention of liberalizing its currency. It's no secret that China wants to challenge the US, but Beijing will only do it on its own terms. The People's Bank of China has been slowly pushing the Yuan, yet it has been keeping a grip on foreign money flow. Beijing stands by independent monetary policy. Because of it, it will never fully liberalize its currency. It can still pursue RMB internationalization though. China won't push for the Yuan as a global reserve currency. It'll focus on establishing influence among countries it trades with. It'll break up the dollar's monopoly in some parts of the world. The question is, are there enough countries to adopt the Yuan? The answer is yes. Saudi Arabia is considering adopting the Yuan for oil sales. Argentina has already started paying for Chinese imports in Yuan. Not to mention Russia, Brazil, Bangladesh, and a bunch more. 3. China currently has no dominance. Any currency aiming to dethrone the dollar faces one challenge. The greenback's overwhelming dominance. Today, even the euro holds a larger role than the yuan. In April 2023, 43% of all global SWIFT payments were in US dollars. The euro accounted for 32%. The yuan was stuck at a measly 2.3%. In Q4 2022, the dollar accounted for 54% of global foreign exchange reserves. The yuan represented 2.5%. 4. China needs more reserve assets. The Chinese central bank has a big problem on its hands. Not enough options for reserve assets. The US Fed holds about $8 trillion of its assets in treasury securities. The Chinese central bank does hold yuan denominated bonds but the amounts are not comparable. 5. China faces inertia in the global financial system. Geopolitics are driving and will drive the adoption of the yuan for trade. Sure, it might help bypass American sanctions, but it doesn't pose any immediate threat to dollar dominance. The idea that the yuan is going to replace the dollar, that is not a story for today, tomorrow. It may not even be a story 20 years from now. Stanford historian Neil Ferguson 